forget the stereotype that DJs are all broke slackers. Calvin Harris is the exact opposite. In fact, he's the richest DJ in the world. At the time of producing this video, he had a net worth of $300 million. That's more money than just about anyone else in the music biz. He can buy whatever he wants and has no problem spending millions at a time. The Scottish multi-hyphenate has owned some incredible mansions over the years, and he's very fond of luxurious sports cars, especially ones that are worth a small fortune. This is how Calvin Harris spends his millions. Calvin Harris has proved that spinning tracks for thousands of partying fans is an extremely lucrative business. Thanks to his vast fortune, he can buy just about any mansion that's on the market. He has owned some incredibly fancy houses over the years, including two different mansions in Los Angeles and a stunning abode in Beverly Hills. Late last year, he sold one of his Hollywood Hills mansions for $5.4 million. The 6,000-square-foot mansion, which dates all the way back to the 1940s, wasn't just a living space for Harris. Harris used the mansion to mix and record music, which is not surprising considering he set up a two-story music room and a recording studio in the house. You could describe the decor of the four-bedroom, six-bathroom traditional mansion as both elegant and whimsical. The home has opulent features like chandeliers and parquet flooring. Harris made the space more his own by adding quirky art pieces, like giant Lego minifigures of the Beatles. The home also has a backyard pool and a spacious balcony complete with lounge chairs and a cabana. Harris bought this mansion for $5.5 million, so he made a small profit when he sold the home. Harris also used to own a 4,100-square-foot mansion overlooking the Sunset Strip. This Hollywood Hills mansion is just as stunning. He recently sold the home for $5.5 million, but we're sad to say he took a massive loss on the sale. You see, Harris bought the spacious smart home back in 2013 for $9.9 .9 million. Hey, don't feel too bad for Harris. All he has to do is play a few gigs to earn back that money. Harris actually hasn't lived in this mansion for years and was reportedly renting it out for an undisclosed amount. We would be surprised if the rent was less than $20,000 per month. The mansion is just that opulent. The highlight of this property is undoubtedly the infinity-edged swimming pool, which wraps around one corner of the sleek modern mansion. The trellis-covered sunroom is a nice touch, too. It comes complete with an extra-long couch and a cozy fireplace. It's surrounded by bamboo, which gives the space an elegant Asian feel. The home's master bedroom has a large stone fireplace, big screen TV, a massive wooden bed frame, and stylish leather chairs. The dining room, kitchen, and living room all flow together nicely as the home has an open concept floor plan. Harris added his personal touch to some of the rooms in this mansion too. He put a bizarre sculpture of an ice cream cone in the home cinema and a massive picture of Frank Sinatra's mugshot in the mansion's office. The mansion even has a sauna and spa room. Hey, staring at a mixing board all day is hard work. The most expensive house that Harris has ever owned is a $15 million colonial-style mansion in Beverly Hills. Harris sold the 18,000-square-foot mansion a while ago, but we suspect he misses the fabulous home. The huge property even has a two-story guest house behind the main mansion, which Harris used exclusively as a recording studio. He even set up a ping-pong table outside. Harris doesn't own a ton of cars, but he does have a few nice vehicles in his garage. His collection is not as substantial as the car collection of fellow DJ Deadmau5, but it's still quite impressive. The crown jewel of Harris's car collection is his McLaren MP4-12C. The car has a carbon fiber composite chassis and can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3.5 seconds. No wonder it has a $220,000 price tag. The McLaren MP4-12C is practically a race car thanks to the 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 engine that delivers a healthy 592 horsepower. This British sports car was built for the track, but we have to say, it looks pretty good cruising up and down the Sunset Strip as well. Harris also owns a $92,000 Range Rover. 
It might not be the most glamorous car in his collection, but as far as people movers go, it gets the job done. Let's be honest, traveling from gig to gig in a luxurious Range Rover sure beats taking the bus. The most expensive car in Harris's collection is his $270,000 Bentley Arnage. This is a car built for royalty. Harris is in good company because Jennifer Lopez and David Beckham own Bentley Arnages too. The Arnage has a top speed of 180 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. That's quite speedy for a four-door saloon car. Harris doesn't just hoard his money, you know. He likes to give back, too. In 2017, he donated $20,000 to the DJ Snake charity campaign in an effort to help Rohingyas in Myanmar. Last year, he donated $28,000 to the Save Our Sub campaign. The money helped keep Glasgow's sub club in business after the venue had to close during lockdown. It's certainly nice to see Harris helping out those in need. Harris used to be the highest paid DJ in the world. He's not anymore, but he's still worth significantly more than any other DJ. You might be wondering how Harris amassed a $300 million fortune. Well, he earned $46 million between May 2012 and 2013 thanks to a lucrative tour and residency at the Wynn Las Vegas. He earned $66 million in both 2014 and 2015, making him the highest paid DJ in the world for three consecutive years. He earned $50 million per year from 2016 to 2018, but during that time, both the Chainsmokers and Marshmallow made more money. Harris reportedly makes $400,000 per performance, and he can sometimes make as much as $1 million a night. Harris used much of his early income to produce new tracks. I'm gonna spend all the money I'm making in Vegas on features, he said. I'm gonna get everyone to help out. I'm gonna put Young Thug on a Motown funk tune because no one else will. It's a waste of money. Harris is also a budding entrepreneur. He's part owner of the streaming service Tidal along with Jay-Z and numerous other artists. Square recently purchased a majority stake in Tidal for $297 million in cash and stock. We're not sure how much Harris earned from the deal, but the payout was likely significant. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Harris used to work in a fish factory? Let's be honest, gutting cod for the chippy sounds absolutely revolting. He didn't work there long though. He was laid off after a year and shortly got a job stocking shelves at Safeway. Harris saved up about $5,400 while working at the grocery store, and he used that money to get into the music biz.